Hi, good morning. I'm sitting here with Christine Weber, and Christine is the product marketing manager for our software and our supplies group. Uh, what I'm going to be asking Christine about this morning is a new product for us. It is the Thermalock 4000D, which is a printer on a direct thermal printer and is able to be used in high temperature type applications. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, Mark. Thanks, Thanks. for having me. Yep, you're welcome. Yeah, so I guess the first thing I wanted to um, start out by saying is what is Thermalock? Because um, it's not really technically direct thermal material. Um, it's actually a new label technology. Mm. Um, it, uh, it prints in direct thermal mode. However, that's not how it images. It doesn't have leuco dyes on it like most other direct thermal materials have. Um, it actually has like a carbon layer inside of the face sheets. Okay. And it basically when the heat from the print head hits that label, um, there's little pockets, almost like kind of like bubble wrap, I would describe it, that um, actually kind of disappear. And that's what causes that black carbon to layer show to through. show through. Oh, really yes. cool. Okay. Yeah, so it's a really cool material. And because of how it's made up, that's why it has better durability than regular direct thermal products do, right? Regular direct thermal medias do in the market because it's not a chemical reaction, right? You're actually changing the composition of the label itself when okay, the print head it. heats it I up. It. I got it. All right. So it's a more of a permanent change. Unlike direct thermal, which can reverse, right? Or everything can darken. Get worse, right? Right. Can heat high temperature applications. Right. This material doesn't have that same susceptibilities because of how it's been designed and developed. Okay. Uh, I mean, can you tell us about maybe what temperature thresholds we're, we're safe with? I mean, if somebody printing something in a you know, shop floor, it's going to be you know, stored outside in the sun in some sort of yard or that sort of thing. I mean, what, what are the applications, I guess, maybe? There's yeah. kind of two questions there. Yeah. No, what I would kind of say with regard to um, applications and, and some of the key features of the product is, number one, um, it's, you know, very resistant against, you know, UV light okay. and fluorescent lights, which direct thermal fades over time. You're not going to see that with Thermalock because you're not breaking down that top layer of material, right? And there's no chemicals being used. So one application that I know we've been working on with a customer is in a warehouse where they need the label to last a long time, but they don't want to use a ribbon and they want the convenience of direct thermal. You know, so that's going to give them that convenience for a couple of years outdoor, right? So it's very resistant to water because it's obviously a polypropylene, um, Synthetic which material, is good, right? right? Um, and then also, you know, um, temperature wise, it doesn't get like affected because it's not, once again, there's no leuco dyes making a chemical change. It's an actual change in the material that's happening. Okay. So it gives you that outdoor resistance. So for an example, an application we're working with is some customers using the P4T. Um, they are looking to, you know, replace their P4Ts. Right, right. And, you know, this material actually is a really good option for them. Um, they label cars outdoors. Um, for several months mm -hmm. until they auction them off, right? So this label can be put on outdoors and will stay readable and scannable until they auction off that car. Um, Thermalock could last um, up to 18 months okay. outdoors, so it's a significant time. You know, regular direct thermals, we don't even recommend them really for a lot yeah. of outdoor use, maybe, right? Maybe a couple days if that, maybe, right. potentially. So just to kind of wrap, wrap this one up, um, is there, you know, I'm sure people are gonna be asking or kind of curious about pricing. How would that relate to pricing of traditional direct thermal material? I'm sure because there's a, a premium capability, there's probably a little bit of an upcharge for that. But Well, yeah, I think, you know, you got to look at the different materials we have. It's obviously going to be more expensive than a, a direct thermal or a thermal transfer paper label, right? Which some people, you know, have challenges with from mm -hmm. an outdoor perspective. Um, but it's going to be less um, costly than, um, you know, your polypro 4000 t's and your z ultimates which with are the thermal transfer too. with a ribbon yeah, right okay yeah i'm significant savings i think it's around 30 20 to 30 percent and it goes up obviously depending on the type of material that you're looking at